welcome back guys hey 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 so it is your girl Naj I'm here with another video for you today to talk about culture art um, lifestyle inspiration motivation basically this is my journey and I want you guys to be on it with me because my life is so crazy and so wacky that somebody's got to learn from my mistakes okay so <laughs> What I want to talk about is how to deal with 21st century hyper mutant haters, okay? So I wrote this down and I'm sticking with it. This this is this is exa okay. This is the new name that we have to label that just sub segment of haters that is just like it's like they were dumped into a bad of mutant radioactive substances and they just morphed into a giant you know just with wings and nasty snarling teeth I mean they exist guys we know that these mutant haters exist it is a new 21st century phenomenon and nothing gets my gears more than just mutant haters I don't know I, I don't know if it's because I'm millennial, I don't know if it's because I come from a middle class background. I don't I, I don't know if it's because I'm a woman, because I'm black, because I left the United States and moved to Europe. I don't know. But I, I just know that I have a lens on things that it just seems like these day and age we become desensitized to it. You know, just people hating people they have never ever met in their life. For no reason. This has just become something that is so accepted and adopted. And I, I just don't understand it. So, this is what we need to talk about today. Um, haters, the one thing they love more than anything is attention. So, this is going to be a short video because we're not going to be talking about the haters. We could be sitting here talking about the mutant haters all day. All day. For for hours basically just talking about the strange things that they do talking about uh the weird lies that they come up with we could be talking about it all day but we don't have time for that so we're gonna skip it basically let's just get right into it haters why are they the way that they are that's what we need to know why are they the way that they are like what is it about me that gets you so riled up? And why is it your concern? You know, I feel like today we have such like easy access to the internet and such easy access to things like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you know, and, and even beyond that to things like blogs and websites and publications, you know. In 1950, if the New York Times wrote an op-ed piece, you couldn't sit, put in the comments below, oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> so the fact that we do have technology basically dispersed at our fingertips just opens up more and more ranks and lines for these mutant haters. So apparently they've always existed, but now it's just easier for them to ah, get, get a hold of you and grind your gears and just basically poke at you, you know. So I I feel like um, that's really just, at the end of the day, technology has opened the lines up for these people. They've opened the lines up for any channel that which you subscribe to, whether it be Facebook, Reddit, you know, TikTok, email, you know, they just, they have their lines of communications open. And even better is that there's no accountability really because is there ever really any accountability with the internet? Maybe a little bit for people who are that important, but for the most part, um, people can get away with absolutely disgusting, salacious stuff <laughs> on the internet. And, and, and that's what we need to be cautious of. So, um, my advice for dealing with haters. As someone who's dealt with many haters in my life, both in real life and offline, they don't change. They all have the same song. Like I said, we won't talk much about them. We need to talk about what we can do. Because, like I said, it's always the same song and dance. 
it's just like the abuser, you know, who abuses, abuses, abuses. And when the victim finally says, nope, enough, done with you, I've had enough, I'm leaving, I'm going, that's when they need you to stay. They need you to witness their abuse because otherwise they would have no audience. It's like, you can't stay, you can't leave. That's exactly how haters work, you know. They are just like every terrible person you could think of. And at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's not about you, it's about them. And that's something that I feel like the victims of hating, if you will, that we, we cease to keep reminding ourselves because at the end of the day, we are human and I feel like our biggest you know, divider from the rest of the animal kingdom. Um, our biggest attribute is also our biggest fault, and that is the ability to use our emotions, the ability to affect people with our emotions. And so, though obviously, when we're talking about that, that could be a wonderful outcome. It could be a doctor who has so much passion for loving and caring for his brothers and sisters within the humankind race, and just going to Doctors Without Borders and traveling the world and healing sick people. That could be using emotions to affect others. He's so moved by this that he needs to go out and do his part in order to help other people. But that could also be, um, I am an obsessed person who hates everybody, hates my life, and blames everybody for my own unhappiness. I'm just brooding down in my dark basement, you know, sending hate mail, hate comments everywhere to everybody because I'm so miserable. And that could be a woman or a man. That could be any race. That could be any figure, any, any, any gender association, anything, you know, anybody can be a hater. Um, the fact that we're humans and we have emotions, that means that we can do something different in the world than you know, our animal kingdom colleagues really can do. Why don't we take that and instead of tearing people down, why don't we help each other up? You know, why don't we support each other's businesses? Why don't we read more? Why don't we educate ourselves more? Why don't we try to surround ourselves with different people of different cultures and actually try to hear what they're saying, learn about where they're from, and not just cram everything about where we're from, who we are, what we like down their throats. I, I feel like at the end of the day, this culture of haterism, it, it comes back to that question of human empathy, you know, that question of emotions, whether you are taking that emotions to do something good for the rest of humankind or whether you're taking those emotions and just placing yourself as the victim and blaming everybody else for your problems with a hateful and nasty tone at the end of it. You know, it's, it's basically choosing whether or not to live your short time on this earth miserable, you know, miserable, tearing apart other people, or if you use this short time on this earth to uplift people, you know, to try and be there for them, to be kind and compassionate and caring, to being open to learning about other cultures, other languages, different types of food, you know, different music, other than your own, other opinions. Let's get to that, other opinions other than your own. You know, because is it really that? Is it really that, you know, your opinion is held so sage, so important that no one else's is more important than yours? Whatever happened to tolerance, you know? Whatever happened to, you know, I look at the U.S., you know, which is my country of origin, even though I live in France now. And for the most part, I find the situation in France much better than the U.S., you know, but there's problems in France too. But specifically, you know, I lived in London for six months and I have a bit of a, you know, a, a love affair with London. I love British culture. Not necessarily saying that London culture is British culture, but I feel like the U.S. and the U.K. have always had a very, very... Um, interesting relationship in terms of culture. I feel like they're just cousins, you know, um, two of the most prominent English-speaking countries in the world, and we can't get along. We can't get along. We can't get along, you know, the U.S. with the people who we have within our country. The U.K. can't get along. The U.K. can't get along with the people that it has in its country, and the U.K. and the U.S. can't get along with each other. 
it's like whatever happened to diplomacy whatever happened to actually even if it wasn't for real but at least trying to put on a front for front sakes of you, you know unitedness i feel like that is what this haterish society comes down to at the end of the day is vilifying the word woke um it is driving driving people apart over harry and megan you know this is the media that blasts all of this it's the people who are um online and they see some sort of uh opportunity to just get that little dopamine fix by you know buzzing somebody about this particular topic guys just move on with your life and continue to do your good. You know, that is the one way I feel like you can motivate a, a hater to just move on. is by living your truth. Those things that you feel are close to you. You know, those things that you hold close to your heart. That, you know, you feel honored to defend those things. That you have a true passion for. That you've actually truly educated yourself on those things. Hold steadfast and true to those beliefs. And show them the height of your intelligence. Show them the height of your passion and how much you are committed to those causes, whatever they may, may be, whether it's climate change, whether it's getting more art and music in, in middle schools, um, whether it's the right to have uh, health care, whether it's the right to have the taxes increased in your zone, whatever it is, you know, if you really truly believe in something and there are haters out there trying to pull you down about it just keep on moving forward just keep on moving forward because i guarantee you at the end of the day taking care of yourself speaking your truth speaking your wisdom being your awesome fabulous self that is what destroys a hater and that is really what gives them the motivation to uh -uh, partner keep on moving it forward because there is nothing here for you and so that is my piece of motivation for you to deal with this world that we live in of mutant, <laughs> mutated, uh, super strength power haters of 2023, of uh, 21st century, you know, megazon haters. Just keep doing your thing.